I have a question. Are your sweatpants on underneath that? No. Are your leggings on underneath yes. that? Okay. You've got a t-shirt on. Mm -hmm. You've got one sweatshirt, mm -hmm. a sweater, mm -hmm. and a hat because you never leave the house without a hat. And then I got my work socks because they're thick. It's like 30 some degrees outside. South Floridian go gets an energy drink. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, can you see Dada leaving? Kevin's going to get an energy drink. Today, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. So, because Kevin's stepdad passed away yesterday, he has, um, he had a very big blended family on his stepdad's side. So his stepdad had like four or five kids of his own. And then Kevin has four siblings. He's one of five. Um, all of the siblings are here in Florida now um, for a little bit. Only one lives out of state, but um, I know that the stepkids yeah. Is that a burp? The stepkids are putting together a dinner tonight and I'm not sure that Luke and I will be going just because, <laughs> grow. Luke already threw up in bed, in our bed this morning. Like spit up, I wouldn't really say throw up, but he spit up in our bed this morning. So I'm like on edge. But that sounded like a freaking gag. And he just had egg for <laughs> breakfast. Yeah. So, we have all day until that dinner, basically. Um, but like I said, I'm not sure if Luca and I will be going just because taking Luca out around dinner time is kind of on the harder side because we start getting Luca ready for bed at 6.30, we do a bath, and then um, he's usually like in bed asleep by seven. And I'd like to stay stick with that. Um, it's really hard to take him off of his schedule just because it like throws our whole day off for like a week. Ow. Just in the past couple days, he's gotten real grabby with my hair. So we're trying to figure out what we want to do today. There's not enough hours in a day. I want to cook your meal so I can food prep for you for this week. I would like to make Kevin and I lunch I need to do my laundry. Yeah. I would like to pack a little bit today. Mm. And I feel like, yeah, I feel like there may be more things that I want to do. I just can't think of it, but I just feel like there's not enough time in a day, dude. So, Luke is about to go down for his first nap. We, right now in Florida, last night it got below freezing. So, the rental house that we have is up off the ground. Um, it's not like sitting on a foundation. And so, we have wood floors throughout the rental house. It gets very cold. So, the cats are a little, like, on cold energy this morning. They are bouncing off the walls and we're kind of confined to our room today to play because the back room is way too cold and our back room just does not heat up um we can run the heater all day we can run the electric heater back there all day and it still will not get warm enough for us on days like this to play back there so I'm very excited in our new house to have a house that every room is the same temperature. Huh. That way we're not limited to where we can play. Play. What's Kiki doing? Oh. Oh. Remotes are a very big thing that he's into right now. And lights. So that's everything that I want to get done today. I don't know. I doubt it'll all get done. Um, oh, and we have to grocery shop. Thankfully, this week's grocery list is decently small. 
I may just send Kevin to just go grab it by himself today. Um, I meal planned for this week and picked out the recipes that we're going to be making. Uh, would you guys be interested to see a video on like how I meal plan, like how I figure out the recipes that I'm going to cook for the week and all of that and like how I do my grocery list or is that boring? Let me know. So anyhow, we are going to hang out until nap time, which is coming up and then hopefully past two days he's done 30 minute naps for all four of his naps that he's done he does two naps a day now so i'm really hoping we got you up right on time this morning so i'm hoping last night was a pretty good sleep night you only woke up twice i'm hoping that he takes his full hour and a half nap for his first nap but i guess we'll see huh <coughs> Oh, he doesn't like talking about nap time. So I changed the settings on my camera. I'm hoping that this is going to fix the issue that I was having. I was having an issue where when I was editing, I wasn't able to use the footage that I had in regular speed sped up into like a time lapse because it was like ch -ch 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 -ch, like that. So I think I didn't have it as enough frames per second or something. So I change it to the most frames per second now. So hopefully that'll fix it. But Luca is still sleeping. Um, he's due to wake up in about 20-ish minutes. So that'll be perfect because I'm gonna go ahead and start his little thing that I wanna do for him for lunch. And then probably by the time that comes out, I can go ahead and start our lunch. What I am making him is broccoli cheddar bites. So um, I needed to use the rest of that broccoli that I bought. I originally brought, bought that broccoli for him. I don't have pants on. Hopefully you guys didn't see much. I'm doing laundry so my pants are in the wash right now so <laughs> pardon the no pants party but um so my first thing that I have to do is I have to um, 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 um chop my broccoli into florets and then steam them it says to preheat the oven to 375 but I don't think my oven actually takes that long to preheat and my steamer takes way longer to steam so I half a bag of pre-washed ready to go broccoli florets so I'm gonna go ahead and cut them up into bite-sized pieces I know we need two and a half cups one and a half cups so as I chop them I'm gonna put them in there so I can keep track of how many how much I have I cannot wait to have a different kitchen I'm not sure how much broccoli makes two and a half cups so let me grab these like already tiny pieces put them in there i feel like this is going to be too much all right we're just going to chop i still have so much broccoli left over in my bag i'm gonna have to figure out something else to make with broccoli um this week one cup. Maybe I should be putting this in the steamer basket. Okay. So as you guys know, my rice cooker has this steamer basket and this is what I use to steam all of Luca's veggies and our veggies if we want anything steamed. So here's one cup. I think this is gonna just hold two and a half cups. So I'm gonna say that's another cup. All right, and then we need half, which I may need to grab one more 
broccoli top. All right, so that's two and a half though. Now that I've got that done, am I gonna need this for anything else? What are my other ingredients? Negative, okay. So I can go ahead, I'll leave these out just in case, but I don't need my chopping board for anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the sink with all of the broccoli shards. Get out my steamer. I do love this steamer. I just hate how long it takes for like the water to boil. Let me know if you guys have a rice steamer that's like quick or do they all take this long? Because I've never had a rice steamer before this. So I'm going to add about two inches of water to my pot. Okay, pop that in here and then put my steamer basket on top of that. Put this down, this thing is so loud, but the air conditioner's running, so. Um, oh shoot, it says two to three minutes until tender, but then it's saying that I need to pulse it in my food processor. <gasps> is my food processor gonna be big enough? I can do it in sections. So I'm going to steam it Five is the minimum that it always, shh, oh, that woke him up. Five is the minimum that it always defaults to. Um, so I did nine. Okay, he just like stirred for a minute, but I, oh, he's stretching. He's like 10 minutes away from his full nap. So that wasn't bad, but now I know don't do this while he's sleeping so loud i wish like i could find the speaker and like muffle it but i don't know where it is anyhow um we're gonna do it for nine because i have to pulse it anyhow so i think it'll be fine so we're gonna do this i guess i'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven to 375 and then i'll catch back up with you when this is steamed while we were parted, I switched my laundry over. Now I've got our sheets going. We changed our sheets and um, we're just moving right along. Luca woke up from his nap. Dada's got him. They're playing in the bed. Um, so now I've got my parchment paper out. I'm about to grab out my food processor so we can food process this broccoli now, this calls for cheddar cheese. Um, I'm not 100% sure we have cheddar. Now that I say that, I think we actually do. Oh, and I did the dishes. So we're just trying to keep a clean house as we go here because I get very overwhelmed. So I can hear the um, broccoli steaming, like bubbling in there. I have no counter space. I'm going to scoot this down. I'm going to move my Coke to over here. We're going to get our food processor ready. I need to see the front of it because we don't want puree. We want chop. I'm going to plug in our food processor and get it ready so when the broccoli comes out, we can pop it in. I'm obsessed with this food processor, y'all. All right. So grab our cheese. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We have mild cheddar. Broccoli's done. Oh yeah, that's done. How much cheese do we need? We need one and a half cups of cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure my cheese. I've got a bowl over here behind the food processor. A little hard for y'all to see, but I swear it's there. I'm gonna go ahead and do one and a half cups of cheese and have it in there so then my broccoli is just going to go on top of it. Um, all right, so we've got one cup. Move that out of the way. Got our half cup in here and half cup. 
All right, perfect. So our cheese is done. And all this calls for a lot of eggs. Three large eggs beaten. Okay, but you know what I, you know what I don't want to do? I don't want to cook the eggs by putting hot ass broccoli on top. Three fourth cup of breadcrumbs. I can go ahead and do the breadcrumbs. Um, let me get my one fourth cup. There's one third. Here's one fourth. And we'll do three of these, right? Three fourths? Yes. One. I don't want another like heavy whipping cream butter situation where I cook the eggs with the hot broccoli. So I'm trying to think what I want to do. I guess I can wait a second to do the eggs in there and I'll pulse the broccoli, let the broccoli cool a little bit and then, um, then add the eggs. So we're gonna take the broccoli, put it in our food processor. Nice and steamed, the nine minutes worked perfectly. All right, so that's about half. I don't wanna overdo my food processor. One more. All right, put our lid on and pulse it. Take gander, that looks amazing. All right, we're gonna slide that off. Grab this so we can scoop of our broccoli. All right, lock, lock, pulse. Unlock, perfect. So this is what our broccoli's looking like. All right, so this can go in the sink to be washed. This can be unplugged and put away. Love that the core just goes into the bottom. All right. So I'd say like that's a decent amount of broccoli. And then I need three eggs that are lightly beaten. Grab a fork. And we're just gonna... When it says, what does it mean lightly beat? Maybe not scramble? Just like break the egg up? Okay, I guess that's lightly beaten. And then it says that we can add flavorings. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with my trusty onion powder and garlic powder because I don't want these to be bland. Since our breadcrumbs doesn't have flavoring. So that was garlic. Then we have onion powder. And I think I'm gonna do a little bit of pepper. All right, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. That should be good. Okay. I'm like, how hot is this broccoli? I guess the egg is most definitely the binder because I'm just kind of lightly tossing this. It's not melting the cheese. So I feel like, let me just, oh yeah, that's fine. All right, so I'm gonna dump our three eggs in here. And then we're just going to mix this. Oh yeah, that pretty much instantly binded all of it. Look at that. Is this gonna be my first recipe? My first like baby led weaning recipe that I did that is not an absolute failure? Who knows? So if this is good, um, Kevin and I do buy broccoli, like pre-made broccoli tots all the time. I could see myself making this and then you can freeze these. But if these are good, then I feel like I may just start making our own broccoli tots. Um, I also really like cauliflower tots, so that's something else that if this is good, I could sub out the broccoli for cauliflower um, and see how that works. Okay. 
so I didn't think I was going to make this many, so I didn't grab my big, um, this one. So anyhow, I have two trays. They probably would have all fit on the big one. I'll know next time. But we're going to cook these at 375 for 15 minutes. And then at the 15 minute mark, we're going to flip them and cook them for an additional 10 minutes. But nonetheless, I think these are going to be delicious. Who doesn't love broccoli and cheese? So I'm going to do the dishes real quick so I keep up on them. And then I'm going to, I wanted to start working on our lunch. It is 1147 now. So this took me about 30 minutes to put it all together and get it in the oven. Um, but I forgot to take out our kibasa um, for lunch today. So she's still frozen. I'm almost wondering if I go ahead and cut it, if it would thaw quicker. I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I cut it into bite-sized pieces, so hopefully it'll thaw way quicker now. Um, I'm going to pop it in the fridge and let it kind of rest until these are done, and then hopefully it, we won't have any issue, which I think now that they're in bite-sized pieces, we should be good. Bless me having a video with a timestamp of me putting these in the oven because I forgot to start, to start a timer. So they have five minutes left. Thankfully, I was able to go back and look and see what time I recorded that clip. Um, and then we'll flip them, do an additional 10 minutes. The kitchen is clean. And then I'll start on our lunch. Okay. Whoop. So it's been 50. Oh my God. I've hit the thing twice. It's been 15 minutes. So I'm going to grab these out. Oh, my glass is fogged up. Why? I do not understand why. We're going to do one tray at a time. So I've got my spatula here. Hopefully these are going to be easy to flip. Oh yeah. All right. That one. Okay. So then this pan is ready to go back in. Grab our other one. Flip those. Ooh, these ones are a little more brown, maybe because they were on the bottom. So me and Kevin may eat these ones. I don't want them to be like too tough for Luca. But now these go back in for 10 minutes. And then they're done. All right, in the meantime, we're gonna put our foil packets together, which these are so simple and quick. So um, I'm doing a foil packet this time that I've never done before, so I'm not quite sure how it's gonna work out, but I think it's gonna be delicious. So we get these shrimp platters. This is the first time we've gotten the small one. We usually get the large ones from Publix when they're BOGO, and then we just pop them in the freezer or we use them like right away. So this is the shrimp platter that I like to use because they're like cocktail shrimp. They're ready to go. Therefore, there's no like cooking required. It's just more like marinating them, heating them up because I also have a thing with shrimp. I don't know. Shrimp has to be like cooked a certain way for me to like it. And with these ones, it's cooked perfect every time. So. These are still a little frozen, but we're gonna do one um, tray per foil. So I always do two different flavors um, when Kevin and I have these. We usually have them for dinner. Uh, for us, we just do meat, and then I'll usually do a different veggie on the side. But if you want, you can also make these foils bigger. You can add corn to them. You can add um, potatoes to them, but like I said, we just primarily do meat. So we do kibasa and we do shrimp. So this one is going to be our Cajun foil. So um, the Cajun one calls for how much was this? 10 ounces of shrimp. So the Cajun one, the recipe that I use calls for four tablespoons of butter um, per pound. So because this isn't quite a pound, I'm probably not going to use the full four tablespoons. I may do like three and a half. Um, these kind of do swim in butter, but you want to make sure that 
it's got enough butter to like use it as a coating. So cut that one in half real quick. All right, so we've got our butter globs in there. Then it calls for two, where is it? Two tablespoons of Old Bay. We've got our Old Bay seasoning. Here's one. I love Old Bay. Obviously, you can use any like Cajun seasoning you want. I'm just a sucker for like the original flavor. So that's what we use. I also usually use a way bigger pan than this, but I think I might have accidentally packed up our other pan. Um, so anyhow, now you just kind of make sure the butter's evenly distributed. Pinch the top, roll it, pull your sides up, and that's your one packet. Um, you want to make sure that it's completely like wrapped up like a burrito so that way it can steam and everything. And then I'm going to put the meat in my second packet and then meet back up with you. Okay, meat is in. The second flavor that I usually do is like butter garlic, but I'm thinking that this creamy pesto is going to be good. So I'm going to add just a little bit of butter, not too much, because I know the pesto is kind of oily. So we're just going to do one tablespoon of butter and then I'm going to open up my pesto. Excuse you. I'm going to mix it up and then I hope this is good. I may regret this. Should I have done the other one? Maybe. I'm just going to do a couple globs of pesto and this already has like the garlic and the onion, not the onion, but the garlic flavoring in it. So I'm hoping this is going to be delicious. I think it will. It smells good. So as you can see, I'm just going to cover this one up too. And then once our stuff comes out of the oven, which it should be going off any minute now. I'll pull that out, higher the heat on the oven to 400, and then we will pop these in, and then these stay in for 10 to 15 minutes. So, not long, and then everyone's lunch will be ready. Now, I do have in my notes that if you're going to use the potatoes and corn to boil them for 10 minutes and then drain them and then add them to your packets and cook them, so if you want to go that route, that's just a little side note. Okay, so up that to 400. Go ahead and take these out. Looking delicious. Let that heat up. Um, I'm very excited for these. These smell so freaking good. Yum. If you do want to do the um, garlic and lemon juice, this is the like measurements that I use. Four tablespoons butter, butter, three cloves of garlic, and then one tablespoon of lemon juice. It can be fresh or the squirty kind. Um, and then you just make it into the foil burrito and cook it. But um, here's also like the other, <gasps> I forgot garlic in the old bay. Oh no, okay, I need to add that real quick. My oven just preheated, so. Okay, glad I read that. Reclose this back up, burrito it up, and pop it in for 15 minutes. All right, so Lucas is still cooling down, but I thought that Kevin and I would try these real crispy ones real quick and see what we think. Mmm. I think I like these better than the frozen broccoli tots that we buy. What would you, what would you make them with again? Just They're broccoli just and broccoli, cheese. cheese, egg, and breadcrumbs. Salt, pepper, 
No, no, no. It's all pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. That's it. I know why you like these more than you like the other ones. Why? Because it's made with bread. What do you mean? Well, the other ones are made with cauliflower. We've gotten broccoli ones before. The ones that are out in our thing right now are broccoli. Yeah, but they're broccoli cauliflower tots. Mm -mm. Just broccoli. What are your thoughts? I like it, but I can't have that many of them. You don't think the other ones have breading? Mm -mm. What do you think makes them crispy? The cheese. I mean, I can make yours without the breadcrumbs. What do you think? That's the most important thing. Chew, chew, chew. Mmm. Mmm. What do you think? It's going to jump on the table. Mmm. Oh, that was a good bite. Mmm. Good chewing, too. There we go. All right, well, these are a hit in my book. I'm about to go grab the other ones out of the fridge because I think we have one bag left, and I'm going to look at the ingredients. Yeah. I think I these are cleaner and better. I didn't say you were wrong. No. You're saying that we usually get cauliflower tots because no bread. So these are the ones that I would replace. They're broccoli and cheese. Veggie tots by Green Giant. Broccoli, flour, mm. cheddar cheese, cornstarch, baking soda, dried eggs, onion powder, rice flour, soy flour, wheat starch, yellow corn flour. You can't have those anymore. So then I'll just start making our own. But you're still using bread. You said you're going to use... I can use something bread. else for you. I'll make ours dirty, mm -hmm. which aren't really even that dirty. That was a big piece, kid. You chewing on it? Chewing on it? Here's your water just in case you need it. But I can find a different binder for you. More cheese. That, or I could use a little bit of your coconut flour or almond flour. But I think they're a hit with Luca. Okay, so our foil packets should be done. Oh, I can smell them. So let's see, this one should be our Cajun one. Yeah. So with these, I like to grab fork and just kind of like do a quick little mix. Mix it all up. These to me smell like when you go to the restaurant and you get, is he good? Yes, he's playing with his water. Oh. When you go to the restaurant and you get those bags, bags of crab is what I'm trying to say. So anyhow, to me, these look like they need just a little bit longer. Check on our pesto one. Pesto needs to be tossed. Cover it back up. I stabbed the hole in the Cajun one because I can see Cajun leaking out somehow. All right, so I'm gonna put these back in for like five more minutes and then they'll be done. So I took some parchment paper and put three, then rolled it, put, put three, then rolled it, then put three, then rolled it. So I can freeze these, they won't all stick together. And um, I have to look and see how long it says they're good in the freezer for, but now we have nine that'll be in the freezer and um, some easy defrostable meals for him. These are looking perfect. We have our pesto one and our Cajun one. So I'm gonna serve these up. Thank you. All right, so we've got our Cajun, which I know is delicious. Mm. Cajun one's hands down always my favorite. 
Mm-hmm. Tastes like it came out of the boiling bag. Mm-hmm. Mm. Did you just have a pesto one? What are your thoughts? Just tastes pesto-y. But you really love pesto, don't you? I do. Hmm. Do I love this flavor, though, on the shrimp? So is it just pesto? It's pesto and butter. I wonder if it had been like garlic pesto. Oh, if I should add garlic to it? Maybe. Yeah, the little like blander than I thought it was gonna be. It's like if you were at the store or at the restaurant and you had the pesto and bread. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. Like it was an appetizer. Yeah. More than an entree. It's good. But I still think that I like the... Garlic butter? Yeah, the garlic butter more. I don't think I like it, the pesto one. It's giving like a weird undertone. But I don't know if it's because I'm eating it with the Cajun one. And it's just clashing flavors. Like the garlic butter goes so well with the Cajun one because it's not it's not overpowering. Mm. Mm. I don't know. But fun to try. So um Kevin's sister in law texted us and was like, Hey, can I come over? And we were like, sure. And then we kind of did like a really quick panic clean. And I wish I would have gotten it before of what the credenza looked like, but it was piled high of just, not yeah. trash, but just stuff. It was like a catch-all because I cleaned it off. It was decorated. I cleaned it off and I packed up all that stuff already. And then it became empty. And then because it became empty, it became a catch-all for everything. So now it's clean again. Alicia, I have a whole bag of chocolate for you. Um, but... Um, right. Yeah, it looks very clean. I'll show you in a second. Luke is about to go down for a second nap. He's chewing on his support hairbrush, which, let me see. Oh, the hairbrush things are starting to come out. Yeah, we're about to lose our shit. Okay, hold on. That's what our credenza looks like uh, now. We're back home now. We headed over to Kevin's stepbrother's house and all of the 10 children got together um, they had dinner and just kind of like talked about everything that's going on. Um, we're back home now. We just put Luca to sleep. It's 8 p.m. I'm interested to see how well he sleeps tonight with going to bed a little bit later. Um, but he did not fall asleep on the way home. We had a 30 minute drive, so that was kind of shocking. But he just fell asleep now. I'm going to try to get the vlog edited tonight. Usually... I'm like an hour and a half into editing by now, so we'll see. And today is an hour's vlog, like an hour's worth of footage, so we'll see. But um, signing off. See you guys when something exciting happens. Okay, toodles.